Hey guys, Matt here. Today I wanted to show you a very useful feature uh, that is quite hidden and I'm not sure people are talking a lot about it, at least from what I see in the uh, in the community and in, in forums. Um, and in Unreal Engine this is called Sync Groups and with it comes the possibility, among others of course, uh, to synchronize your transitions over steps, which means if you transition uh, from animation A to B, you will be able to preserve your, I don't know, I'm not sure how to call it, the, the foot phases, the foot cycles, the, the footing, uh, doesn't matter really how you call it. Uh, what I'm going to do, instead of talking uh, too long, I'm just going to show you uh, the result with and without it, and you'll see for yourself. Let's get started. Okay, so what I've done for the purpose of that video is that I've created a very basic uh, system where I have a, uh, a start animation that blends uh, into a loop, and then I have a stop animation, but it's, the stop animation is not relevant for uh, for the video. What I want you to take a look at and uh, see for yourself is the uh, transition from my start animation to the actual sprint loop. Um, I think it's pretty tricky for you to say exactly when I transition from, from, uh, from my start to my loop. Um, obviously I have a longer blend, but the important thing that I want you to, to see here is that um, the legs are consistent across all the, the movement. What I've done as well to uh, also prove the point uh, while moving is that I've created a very also simple mechanic that when I press cr uh, left control and hold, I'm, I'm in um, the a crouch mode. And same thing, when I transition from crouch and back, uh, you, can, you can see that uh, the, the foot cycle is, is, is preserved and, and very consistent and smooth. Uh, you can see it in game, and you can see it as well on the on the left uh, the left screen. So on the the, the preview one, uh, even though I trigger a lot of transitions, uh, there there's no leg scissoring or anything. Now let me show you the effect when I don't use sync groups. So I'm just gonna quickly deactivate it from here, uh, from the start and from crouch. Okay. This is how it would look like if, even though you have, you know, uh, blends between your start and your loop, and then between your two loops, this is the result you would have without using sync groups. So you can see here, uh, it's it's very noticeable. Uh, you, you can very easily notice the moment where I transition from start to loop, uh, because there's something wrong happening with the legs. And same thing when I uh, switch to crouch, even though I have a pretty long blend, which means that the motion is still smooth, when you look at the legs, you have some pretty funny uh, things happening. And you don't want that usually when you uh, when you create animations. You know, you've you've spent some time creating some cool animations. Uh, you start building your systems, and then the actual blend, which is nothing, is just you know your data blended with another data. Uh, without using sync groups, you would have something not very appealing. But this is important to remember this. Now, the, the pretty cool part is that it's actually very easy to set up. It's, it's requiring only two, two actual steps. The first one is just to mark your animations with what Unreal calls uh, sync markers. And then you will have to make sure your animations that are gonna have to be synchronized are using what Unreal calls sync groups. So let me show you how it's done. The first thing I did is to mark the animation. So this is the start to sprint animation. That's one animation that I took from uh, Mixamo. This is a pretty tricky one because it's very short. Usually when I, when I uh, make start animations, I usually have uh, a lot more steps also because when you see here, uh, the character hasn't reached full speed, at least to me, 
and it's hard to transition to a loop at that moment. Uh, so it's 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 good to remember to have you know many more steps than we have here, and even to include at least one cycle of your loop in your starts. That way you have you know you have buffer to transition smoothly to your uh, to your to your loops. So um, I had to cheat a little bit. Uh, so what I've done is that uh, here I just recognize that frame as a left step. And then this one, the moment where my right foot is just uh, flat on the ground, I have added a, a right step. Uh, don't uh, pay attention to the, the typo. Uh, I've just missed the, the key here, but uh, I, I didn't want to redo everything. So uh, the important part is that my right steps are uh, having that typo everywhere. And then the um, uh, engine remembers that. Uh, so this is for the idle to sprint animation. I've done the exact same thing for my uh, sprint loop. Okay, left step here, right step here. One thing pretty important, how, how to add these uh, because I have them. So let me just remove this one. Uh, the moment, just find a frame that is um, actually the good one for a step. So when your foot are flat on the ground. And then uh, here under the, the, the notify track, you can right click add sync marker. In your case, you would have a new sync marker and then you will uh, type, say, left step. Uh, the moment you create one, it will be then available onto existing sync markers. And you can see I have my my, my uh, both of, of my sync markers here. So uh, just click on left step and then you will be able to just add it. If uh, there's a, a pretty cool feature as well, well, very simple, but pretty cool still, that you can copy and paste them over. So if you had a, another left step here, somewhere in the in the animation, you can just uh, uh, press Control V, and then it will just paste it wherever your marker is, and it will just prevent you from right clicking, you know, and 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 use the drop down menu. So start animation done, the loop animation done, and we need to do it in our crouch uh, uh, loop as well. So same thing, right, left, right, left. Okay, now the second thing we need to do is actually to tell Unreal that these sync markers are part of one group uh, that will have a unique name and then all of the animations that are supposed to be synchronized over steps using that sync groups uh, need to tell the system that they're part of that sync group. And then uh, suddenly your uh, sync markers are gonna be available uh, for the system to uh, synchronize your steps. To do this, uh, it's on your animation clip uh, details here. You have a, um, a, a property that is called sync group. And then you have group name here. You can give any name you want. Uh, but you just have to remember it because this is uh, this is a name that's going to be shared across all of your animations. So I've called mine steps sync, uh, press enter. Then you will see here that it's uh, part of the sync group step sync. And then what you can do is just copy the name over, making sure your start animation is in it, that your uh, loop animation is in it, and any other animations that are supposedly uh, gonna have to be synchronized, uh, need to enable this uh, sync group as well. All right, to wrap up, let me just quickly explain how this works under the hood. So we'll just, um, I'm just gonna draw really pretty things now. Uh, so we're gonna take the example of our transition from our start to a loop animation. So this is, this is gonna be my start animation, okay? Um, and then I don't remember exactly how it was, but just let's just say uh, somewhere on here, we had our left step and somewhere a bit later, right step. And then I have my loop animation, which is, let's just say shorter. And then, you know, it repeats over time as long as you want it to. And then same thing, uh, let's just say on frame zero, I have a left step and then somewhere uh, halfway through my cycle, I have a right step and then it keeps repeating over and over again, okay? Now what I've done in my system is that I told Unreal 
that when the time remaining of my star animation was less than 0.2, um, please start blending out to my loop animation. For uh, to keep things easier, uh, we'll just pretend that 0.2 is actually exactly in between a left step and a right step. Now, if you don't, if you're not using uh, synchronization, what will happen is that you will start. Is that the same color? Yeah, I think it is. You will start blending to your loop. Okay, so this is this is the actual time of the blend, 0.2. Okay, but then then again, this is your frame zero and say you know, 30. When you're not using synchronization, Unreal will just start your loop animation here at frame zero, which is a left step. So in your start, your left step is just already uh, behind, uh, already done. And so your character is just, so the left step is just dragging behind your character. And then you blend to an animation that is having the, the left foot flat on the ground. So you will have like the left foot will just come back um, to the ground and you will have the left foot like dragging behind and you will have some kind of weird phase happening. Now when you enable the scene groups and synchronization, Unreal will know just because you let it know that we're ex exactly between in between left and right step that it has to start the loop at the exact same phase. So what Unreal will do is that he will look at your it will look at your um, loop animation and 50% between left and right step is actually going to be somewhere around here. So maybe frame 7, say, okay? Pretending this is halfway, so 15. And then it will just slightly uh, shift your... Um, it will not start at frame 0, but at frame 7, okay? So then left step will be... Uh, somewhere in, so, oh, sorry, just me, just like in, in orange. Left step will be here, and then right step will be here. And then with the blend, you will have a perfect match. Um, and so your, your footing will be preserved, your um, foot sequences, foot phases, I never know how you, to call this, foot cycle is gonna be preserved. And this is, this is actually how it works under the hood. And that's it, really. See, it's 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 not rocket science. It's actually pretty uh, easy to understand how it works, and it's even easier to set up. So there you go. You can start using it, and your animation systems and 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 gameplay systems will definitely benefit from from the results. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, found it useful, leave a comment press that like button. It's always, you know, you're a couple of clicks away uh, from making me happier today. Uh, you know, receiving your support is just pushing me to create content. So think about it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you hopefully very soon. And until then, take care, have fun. Bye-bye.